Good evening. Red Eye. <laughs> the name of the movie is House of the Witches. It's from outer space. Yes. Sounds hilarious. It wasn't. Imagine, if you will, a night just like this. It was the worst date ever. It was late at night and this man with a wax face broke out of his closet and she was in her bedroom. The lights are all off. She's walking around the house, can't see a damn thing. And then you see Corbin Bernson sneaking up behind her wearing night vision goggles. It didn't look like a mask. It looked like someone was just like horrible, horrible, disfigured face. And uh, Corbin Bernson turns around and he says, uh, don't worry, Dave. All we want to do is kill you. She says, oh God, please don't kill me. That would freak me out. So please don't do that. And then, fortunately, she doesn't get killed, but oh my god, it was so close. <laughs> All of a sudden, when she had to jump out the window and run down the street and he chased her through the whole neighborhood. It was the least romantic, cute thing ever. Imagine, if you will, it's Corbin Birds chasing you, cornering you, and laying eggs where you don't want them to. And all the while, her disgusting hair is all over her face, and um, it's like wet, and you can't really see her face past the stringy hair, and she's like lurching around. She's acting all innocent and skipping around like it doesn't matter. All of a sudden, this cop is trying to save the little girl. She says, I was scared to death. Then they kill Corbin Birdson this like thing and it turns Corbin Burns into like a big like cocoon of cotton candy because he was a racist. Which is the perfect culmination of all of my fears. Um, fear of religion, commitment, babies, and uh, Corbin Burns. Which is really menacing. <laughs> That's how that ends. So it ends scary. And after I watched that and I went home, I refused to accept cotton candy from my mom for about four years. And also the, the end of the movie, The Guy's the Devil, so. Jesus!